In this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use perspective funnels step-by-step, -step, even if it's your first time using it. You'll learn how to choose the right template, how to set up your first funnel, collect and manage your leads, send automated emails, hook up your custom domain, track your stats so you can see exactly what's working for you. And if you stick with me till the end, I'll show you exactly how to set up A-B testing so you can boost your conversions even further and how to activate perspectives, email and phone number validation so you can protect yourself against collecting fake leads. So by the time we're done, you'll know exactly how to use perspective funnels to help you grow your business. Hi, my name is Steve from entrepreneurnut.com and on this channel, I share tips, tools, and strategies to help you work smarter, not harder. Now, let's get into the video. Now, if you don't yet have access to Perspective Funnels, then they do offer a 14-day free trial on their website. However, I have a unique link that will get you an extended 30-day free trial. So if you wanna access that, then that link is in the description below this video. So when you first log into your Perspective Funnels account, you're gonna see your account looks something like this, except of course you won't see these funnels in the middle here. These are the funnels that I've personally built out myself in my own account and see all the funnels that you've built out or to create new ones. You'll be under the funnels tab in the top menu right here. You can toggle these funnels on to see them in list view or grid view right here. Now I'll come back to this in a minute and I'll show you exactly how to choose the funnel templates and set up your funnel. But for now, moving on, let me just show you around the dashboard. In the top menu bar, the next column is performance, where we can keep an eye on all our stats. Then we have inbox, where we can connect our perspective funnels account to WhatsApp and then interact with our leads and customers via WhatsApp. All you do is click the button down here and follow the simple prompts to connect perspective funnels to WhatsApp. Then the next tab is referrals. If you choose to refer people to the perspective funnels platform, then over in the top right corner, you'll see your little profile icon. Now under here, you can manage your settings, hook up your custom domain, contact support, see tips and help docs. And then next to your profile icon, we have this invite button where we can invite our team members to also work on our Perspective Funnels account with us. Then over in the top left, we have the workspace drop down menu where you can manage our workspace or set up new ones. And then also down the bottom right corner, we have this little chat icon where we can connect to support directly through live chat. And we also have this button. This is really important. Register for live training. So if I click on this, you'll see the Perspective Funnels, they offer weekly live training calls. And you can actually jump on these calls and interact with the coaches live and get bespoke feedback and tips and guidance on your specific funnels and your marketing plan. Okay, so now we're back in Perspective Funnels. Let me show you how to choose a template and set up your first funnel. So under the Funnels tab in the top menu comes this big blue button on the right hand side that says New Funnel. I click on this and now we can see all the different funnel templates that Perspective Funnels already has set up for us. And there's loads of them to choose from. There's actually 29 different funnel templates in here. Now, unlike other platforms that just create funnel templates because they look nice and leave you to your own devices to figure out how to actually make it convert. The difference here with Perspective Funnels is that all these funnel templates have actually been tested and used to generate real leads and make real sales. Of course, you've got your classic templates like live webinar, BSL checkout, lead magnet templates, and so on. I'm just going to go with this appointment template for this demo. So before I actually select the template, I can just click on it. Now, perspective funnels tell me it's got eight pages, it's GDPR ready, responsive for devices. And if you want to do the bare minimum of changes to this funnel, just basically put in your own information in there and get this funnel live. You can actually do this as fast as four minutes, which is pretty impressive. If we scroll through, we can have a look at what these funnel pages look like already. As you can see, they're very nice. But of course, we can customize this as much as you want by changing the colors and of course, putting your own information in there, changing images and so on. So let's click use this template. And now this template is going to be pulled into our editor inside of Perspective Funnels. Now, once you're in the Perspective Funnels editor, you'll notice first and foremost that the editor is set up right here for mobile view. However, you can change this to see on desktop. If you click down the bottom right corner right here, this is of course what your funnel will look like on a desktop or a tablet device. Now, by default, it's on mobile because Perspective Funnels is actually a mobile first funnel builder. Now, of course, it does work on all devices, but since nowadays, most users access the internet via mobile device, it's going to be the priority to get your funnel looking really impressive for mobile. Anyway, that said, first of all, it's very easy to edit any of the elements that are already currently in your funnel. For example, if you want to change this text, you can simply highlight what you want to change and write whatever you want. Similarly, with any of these other elements, so for example, these images, if I click on one, you'll notice that the left menu bar changes right here. And this now allows me to edit this image. So here is where I can drag and drop my new image, or I can select to use an image from Unsplash or Brandfetch too. And the same goes with any other element you want to edit. Once you click on it, like this button, for example, the menu bar will change in the left. And now here I have all the options to edit the look and the function of my button. So before moving on, I'll just show you in the left sidebar when no element is selected. First of all, we've got three menu options, which is pages, messages, and design. So under pages, we have each of the different pages that are in our funnel. And just by clicking on them, we'll select each of those different pages. 
And then under messages, here is where we can edit any automated email messages that will be sent out to our new leads and customers once they complete whatever action it is in the funnel. So in this particular case, since we're working with an appointment funnel, this funnel is to collect new leads and make appointments. So the email that's set up for you here is an appointment booked email, which you can edit as you wish. And then under design here, this is where we can edit the colors of the overall template. For example, I can click on one of these and apply theme to all blocks or apply it to all blocks except custom style ones. Let's go to change it to all blocks and there we go. I don't actually like that. So I'm just going to go back to the original one and change it back. So that looks much better. Anyway, back on pages, let's go back to our start page and on all the pages, actually, if I scroll right down to the bottom, we will find this little plus button right here. If I click on this, I can add a new block. And this is really cool. Perspective Funnels has a ton of blocks already created for you. This makes your life super easy when it comes to customizing your funnel or if you want to build one from scratch, this is how you do it. So we've got pre-designed buttons, images, lists, a logo bar like this one right here. We've got reviews box, videos, testimonial, a webinar element, FAQs, countdowns. And then here we have some interactive blocks. Like for example, you can connect this to your Google Maps or even to your Trustpilot account. So as your Trustpilot account updates, if I drag this in here, so too will this Trustpilot element on your funnel also update live as your Trustpilot account grows, which is pretty cool. It's as simple as that. Click on the button and you simply click on the element you want to bring in. Now we also have interactive blocks right here, such as multiple choice, quizzes, question videos, and it informs, embed your calendar on Calendly, you have a payment option and so on. And then under sections, we have lots and lots of hero sections, as well as product sections, call to actions. You have lots of options for quizzes, testimonials, trust elements. And of course, your leads and customers are going to want to know about who the person is behind their brand. So you've also got these about sections as well as team sections too. So it's very, very simple to click on any of these and drag them into your funnel just like this. So here is our new team section. I can just edit the text by clicking on it. Well, first I'll click this tick button to accept that I want this element in place. Then I can click to edit the text or click on the image, switch out the image for my own right here. Anyway, once you've got your funnel looking exactly how you want it, come up to the top right. You can click on this little eye icon right here to preview what your funnel template is going to look like. And you can see it here in the mobile view, or I can click this button down here to switch to the desktop view and see it right here. I can also click on the comments button right here to add any comments. Say, for example, I have a team member connected to my account and perhaps they're the one that's building my funnel out and I can give feedback right here. It's just an example of how you might want to use that. Anyway, going back to our funnel template inside our builder. Once you're happy with it, come to the top right and click on the publish button. And now here, we need to click this button one more time to actually publish our funnel. We also have options right here to embed our funnel if you want to embed it on a page on your website, or you can access Perspective Funnels CRM feature that will be associated with this particular funnel, which I'll show you in a minute. Or you can access this live training and Perspective Funnels team will tell you exactly how to get traffic to your funnel, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, that said, let's click on publish now to publish our funnel. So now we have a QR code to view our funnel, or you can click on this link right here to see your funnel live online. Now, of course, as I'm on a desktop at the moment, Perspective Funnels is going to show me this funnel in the desktop view. And now what I also really like about Perspective Funnels that's super handy is because Perspective Funnels is already GDPR ready without you having to mess about with anything like that. They're already going to put this cookie box on for you since you now have to have these anyway. So this is going to save you a headache trying to set this up yourself. So this is exactly what your leads and prospects are going to see when they come to your funnel. And you can sleep at night knowing this is already done. So let's click accept cookies. And now we can see the funnel right here. Okay, quick pause here. If you're getting value from this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I share step-by-step -step guides on how to simplify the tech side of your business to help you be more productive, how to actually use AI and other smart tools the right way, and how to turn those tools into systems that can potentially bring in more revenue. So if that sounds good to you, then I'd love you to be a subscriber so you don't miss what comes next. Now going back to our account right here, this is where we published our appointment funnel. If it comes to the top right, click on this little gear icon. Now here I have more options where I can edit things like the favicon, the language, if I wanted to edit the cookie banner, add a progress bar, connect my WhatsApp account or anything like that, or even share my funnel with somebody else. I can do all that right in here. So now at this point, you're probably going to want to hook up a custom domain to your funnel. So let me quickly show you how and where you can do that. Okay, so back in our Perspective Funnels account here, this is where we left off. So I'm going to close this box. And now I want to come back to my main dashboard. So come up to the top left, click on the little house icon. This will bring me back to my main dashboard, which is the funnel page. Now to connect to custom domain, what I need to do is come up to my profile icon in the top right, click on this. And now I see this option that says domains. Click on this. Now here is where we can add our domain. So all you do is click on the add domain button and you get the option here to connect your own domain, which I definitely recommend, or create a subdomain of Perspective Funnels domain. So this of course will look much more professional to use your own custom domain. Now Perspective Funnels does also give you a little step-by-step -step tutorial right here. It's only four minutes long or four and a half minutes. It shows you exactly how to connect your custom domain. So I'm not gonna waste your time by showing you how to do it too. You just watch this video, follow the steps and connect your custom domain to the specific funnel that you want to connect. 
and that video will show you exactly how to do it. Now I did also say at the beginning of the video that I'm going to show you how to set up an A-B split test so you can then further improve the conversions of your funnel, as well as how to activate the email and phone number validation feature to protect you against collecting fake leads. So let me show you now how to set up those two features. So back in our Perspective Funnels account right here, and I'm going to come back to the funnel that we've been working on. So I select the funnel, bring that funnel into the page editor. And now let's say we want to set up a split test for this first page of our funnel. So coming over to the left hand sidebar with the page tab selected. As I hover over the start page, which is our landing page for this funnel, we'll see this little dots menu appears on the right hand side. If I click on this, now I have the option to create a bead split test right here. If I click on this, my Perspective Funnels account now is going to duplicate that start page. And now here, as you can see, I now have an option A and an option B for this page. So currently they're both absolutely identical and you'll know which one you're working on in the editor because it's highlighted in blue. So I wanted to work on option A, I'll just click on option A, it will change to blue. So in order to split test an element, I'm going to keep page A as is, and I'm going to select page B. And now here is where I can make my edits to page B. Now what's important when it comes to a split test is ideally you just want to test just one element. So what a lot of people do, they make the mistake of changing several things, like they might change the headline and they'll change the images and they'll change the call to action and so on. The problem is if they do that, then they won't know which element is responsible for either the increase or the decrease in conversions. So I recommend just choosing just one element to test so for example, if we were on test the headline on my page B here, just highlight the headline and change it for my new headline and you write whatever you want to write here. And then now as we publish the funnel in the top right, this funnel will be published with two pages for the start page and perspective funnels will alternate if start page A or B is shown to your new prospects. And then to see the results of your split test over time, what you need to do is come back to the main dashboards. We'll exit out of the builder right here and we'll see this is the funnel template we're working on right here. And now in the bottom corner of this template, I can see this little dots icon. I'm going to click on this. Now I have more options right here. One of them is metrics. So if I click on this, here we can see the AB split test of this particular funnel over time. And I can click on here to see more details. And then we'll be able to see the conversions, conversion rate, time on page, completions, completion rate, visits, and so on for each of our pages. And of course, we can just end our split test right here, the big blue button if we want to. Now coming back to our metrics, we can also see other metrics aside from the AB test that Perspective Funnels is monitoring on our behalf for our funnel. And then if I go to contacts, the top menu bar right here, we'll be able to see all the list of contacts in our CRM inside of our Perspective Funnels account for this particular funnel. Now, because of course, there's no leads that have been acquired by this funnel yet, because I've just set it up. But let me just go and show you an example of another funnel that does have already some leads in the CRM. So if I select this funnel right here, coaching clients one, click on the dots, uh, click on the contacts right here. And now this is what the CRM will look like inside of your Perspective Funnels account. And here's one lead. Of course, that's me. It's just a test. I can drag and drop to any of the relevant sections within my CRM. So it makes it so much easier for you to manage your leads, as well as if you have team members also working on your account for you or with you, they can also manage your leads on your behalf too. You can see where along in your sales pipeline any specific leads are. And if you just click on any of these leads, you then get more detailed information about the lead, as well as the option to add notes or send messages and monitor the activity and so on. Okay, so far so good, but now we just want to make sure we're not going to collect any fake leads with our funnel too. So let me quickly show you how to activate email and phone number validation inside your funnel as well. So back inside our Perspective Funnels account, we're going to select the funnel we're working on, which is this one right here. If I click on it, it's going to bring us back into the editor for this funnel. And now because we're setting up email and or phone number validation, we need to navigate to the page where we're collecting the email and or phone number. So in our left sidebar menu under pages, we can see the opt-in page right here. So this is the page where we're collecting. In this case, it's just an email. But if you had a phone number here as well, the process is exactly the same. But let me show you how to do it with the email. If I click on the email field, the sidebar menu changes in the left right here. And this gives me all the options for the email field. And we'll see this validation option right here. And currently it's set by default to none. Sometimes you'll find that some funnels you'll set up will have validation activated by default. Others will have it inactive by default. So it's totally up to you if you want to use this or not. But if you do want to use it, it's going to safeguard you against collecting fake leads. So click on the shield icon right here to toggle this on. And now validation is activated for this email right here. So now what will happen if I publish this? I'll show you exactly what will happen. Let's go publish changes and then go and look at our funnel. So first of all, we've got our cookie box, click accept on that. Now quickly, I'm just going to navigate to that opt-in form just so you can see exactly what happened. And we've just got a few questions to answer right here in this particular funnel. So I'm just going to click whatever. And now here's our opt-in form. So as I enter my name, 
and enter an email address and I click the GDPR checkbox right here. Click on the button. Now this button would otherwise send your prospect at this point to your calendar page to book in an appointment with you. But before that happens, because validation is now activated, as I click on the button, my prospective funnels account has sent me a verification code to my email address. So I have to go there, grab that code, enter it right here. And then when I click the verification button, I'm then sent to the calendar booking page where I can book the appointment. So again, this would be exactly the same if you're setting this up for a mobile phone, except of course the code sent to the mobile via text message. So totally up to you if you want to have this activated or not, but doing so will ensure you're not collecting fake leads. Now at this point, if you're not yet quite sold on Perspective Funnels, then watch this video right here and I'll explain exactly why Perspective Funnels is a game changer when it comes to funnel builders and lead generation.